When you're logged in, you can create a new project by going to Create. Now here, you have the whole um, Scratch environment. Now, to change your sprite to the sprite, this is called a sprite, the cat. That's the default one, but you can delete it. Um, you can create a new one. There's new ones from the library you can use, um, so you don't have to have the cat. You can see there's tons here. You can play around here. Um, you can paint a new sprite. So there's a lot of different options to upload from file, so you don't have to only have the default cat. You can also change the background. Let's say I do. I'll also upload, but let's say choose one from the library. I'm going to choose the boardwalk. Okay, so now I have my cat. Let's say I don't want to do I don't want to do the cat. Let's change the cat. I'm going to be this girl, Abby. Okay, now the cat is still here. You could delete the cat. Um, you could delete it. Delete this one. And now I'm just a girl. I can have a few things. Uh, maybe I want the cat too. Maybe this girl's walking her cat on the boardwalk. I know that sounds strange, but whatever. <laughs> so, okay. But in any event, you can see you can make stories with Scratch, programs with Scratch. You don't have. To, you're not limited to, um, you know, to what's there. So here's this is the stage. We did the stage backdrop. We did the sprite. This is the sprite. Um, there's also costumes. You can change your costume. See, have our, you can change your costume color. You can take advantage. There's this is the default sounds. Um, you can have her move around. So the events events usually you start when the flag is pressed, but you can you know play around with the different events. We'll, we'll go along with and, and learn more of these as we go along. Motion, so move, turn, glide, go to. Now everything is on X Y coordinate. So if you know um, graphing and X Y, that will actually be very helpful. So X, let's say X is along this way. You see my mouse. So negative numbers, positive numbers. Y does the same thing, but up and down. Positive, negative. So if you want to, let's say, you know, glide to here, glide to. Let's say we want to go somewhere 50 50. I'm just making up a number. That did not work. Ah. Okay, so 50. 50. My mouse is giving me. All right, here we are. 50 50. Okay, she kind of flew, but and is now standing on water, maybe. Okay, but you get the point. So you can play around in these um, motion. You know, you can play around with the different things. You can based on the X Y. Um, this is fifty fifty. So I had her move there, and I used glide. You don't even have. There's also go to. Um, so you can play around with motion looks. You can switch cost have have her change her outfit. There's different options when we went to costumes. Um, so you can play with, with the looks on how things look, sound, make sounds and music and notes, pen, you can actually have her draw things by putting your pen down and, um, and drawing. Data, you can create variables, which we'll learn about. Events, we mentioned already. Control, we'll talk about these in the programming section with if and else and loops. Sensing, um, like with some touching colors. Um, think about sensors. If a key is pressed, um, if specific keys are pressed, so if things are on touching the mouse, there's different things that you can play around with sensing. And so if it senses something like that, then you can do something. You can also ask ask what's your name and wait for an answer. There's it, there's interactive components as well. Operators, so plus, minus, times, less than, greater than, different operations. You can create your own blocks if you would like to create your own blocks. This is a very fast overview. As we go into more details, um, we'll be using things from these sections, and then you'll get a better idea of how we can use it.